Hello there. This is Anton from Antonimo Bay. Um, today we're going to be looking at another chunk from the Widow's Collection. Um, Spider-Man books. And our guests today are Spider-Woman, Doppelganger, Mary Jane, and Scarlet Spider, one of my favorite incarnations of Spider-Man. Um, up front, I am not a huge Spider-Man fan. I got a lot of his stuff, obviously, because anybody who collects Marvel is like by default a Spider-Man person. But I'm not terribly familiar with a lot of his books. About the time I tried to start getting into them was when the uh, Maximum Clonage happened. And you guys know how that turned out. Anyway, what I have here is a little over a long box of just years and of random issues of Spider-Man. I'm going to stop talking, or well, I'm going to keep talking, but I'm going to just start running through them because there's just so many. Um, this guy bought, I think, almost all the Spider-Man titles that were, that were coming out at the time. And there's no way I could have kept up with them. Nice Carnage cover. Um, I just couldn't do it. Back in the day when these were on the, on the newsstands, I was buying X-Men. I was really into the team books. A um, little bit of Avengers here and there. Um, I was getting into new image things. I just was not not there for Spider-Man like I should have been. But all of that has come back. Um, I obtained this massive pile of Spider-Man comics. Um, it's just unreal. Like I said, when I refer to the Widow's Collection, um, a gal here in town whose husband was a collector and he passed away uh, 15 years ago. And she, he, she's been carrying around this collection of comic books, a little over 3,000 books, uh, for 15 years, just looking for a good home for him. And I'm the one who eventually came across him. She's just like, hey, you want to buy the whole set? I'll, I'll, I'll sell them to y'all. And so I bought the whole set, um, paid her exactly what she wanted. She was just glad to be rid of them. And after we got to looking at home, we got to go through some of this stuff. I think most of the keys of this have been pulled out. If you guys see a key or you know Spider-Man keys, or you're like, oh, that's that's a special book, you can give me a shout out in the comics. I'm, like I said, I'm not a Spider-Man expert. And these span every series. Amazing Spider-Man, Spectacular Spider-Man, um, Regular Spider-Man, um, there's a bunch of Peter Parker Spider-Man in here. Good Beast cover, I like that. Um, there's a couple Todd McFarlane covers in here somewhere. There's a pretty good run of McFarlane stuff in here. Torment, part five of five. Um, that is definitely a famous Spider-Man cover. Um, just a massive amount of Spider-Man books. And here's the problem I have. <clears throat> When you look at all the different titles, Spider-Man was running like, uh, what, four to six titles back then? Um, it's hard to tell chronologically what's going on when, and they were all mixed up when we got them, and I would say they're all in fantastic shape, though. I wouldn't say any of these are in bad shape. Um, and the, the killer is, I, I think by the time we figured it up, these ended up costing me something like 20 cents a piece, 23 cents a piece, uh, which is a steal and I, it's unbelievable. But um, didn't even know exactly what I was buying at the time. She just had a whole bunch of boxes and she's just like, you know what, give me X amount of dollars for all of it. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll see what I got. And that's, that's what I had and that's what, that's what we settled on. I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it. When I look at this stuff, I think, gosh, this doesn't feel like mine. It feels like somebody else's. I can't believe it's it's in my collection now. Um, we do have some older stuff. I've been hit like a, like a pile of newer stuff. Now we get into a little bit of the older stuff that he had in his collection. That one's got some water damage. Um, still a cool cover. Um, Cloak and Dagger, I love Cloak and Dagger. I've always loved Cloak and Dagger. I 
I'd say a lot of my introduction to a lot of these characters was through the Maximum Carnage video game. If anybody ever played that for like uh, Sega Genesis, I hear the P uh, the uh, uh, Nintendo the Super Nintendo one is better, from what I've heard. There's a great cover with the blob on it. I'm not sure who that dude is, but looks like he's about to throw black hat. There is. If that's not Michael Jackson, I don't know who that is. That's got to be Michael Jackson. I know it's not, but it totally looks like him. Sabretooth. That doesn't look good. That looks bad. Um, suddenly, Killer Strike. All right, give me a second. I'm going to pull these down. I gotta make room for more. And we worked hard at trying to get as many of these bagged and boarded as we could. But if you've ever tried to bag and board, um, you know, close to 3,000 books, that in itself gets pricey. Um, it gets pricey just trying to deal with any of it um, especially after we got the entire lot itself so I've done my best to keep I kept the older stuff I, I immediately like bought boards and backboards for that stuff um, did the best I could with that that one's that one's got a lot of a lot of water damage on it just too bad because that's the number one that, that would be nice could have been nice I don't know who that guy is, but he looks cool. Humbug. Actually, it sounds kind of stupid, but I, I like stupid, so. Web of Spider-Man 20. Something with a werewolf in it. You can never go wrong if you've got a werewolf in it. Just so many Spider-Man books. I don't even know what to do. I don't know where to start. So I really just wanted to show you guys what I got. That's a Marvel team up. That's nice. Another Marvel team up. We have Spider-Man 122. Yeah, for me, Spider-Man comics have always been complicated. It's like I said, when I was first getting into comics and I started to look at what was going on with Spider-Man, the maximum clonage had just really started going on in the comics and that is like one of the worst places in spider-man history to try and get into spider-man because there's just so much going on so many different issues and so for me to get all these issues and not know where to begin with them i mean that's kind of how it's always been with me and spider-man that's that looks disgusting but cool at the same time a lot of these like 90s ones I remember them coming out I just their covers are good actually their covers are great they're just not as good as some of the older covers I'm a I'm a Bronze Age cover guy um, modern covers are just they're never gonna hold the same appeal to me and that's a cool that's like a pop-up cover or a cutout cover, I should say. Right, we got some Scarlet Spider and Kane. I barely remember Kane. I think he was a clone that like melted or something. Or it was starting to melt. I can't remember. So much Spider Man. He's got the newer suit on. Looks like another. I think that's Kane with his mask off. Marvel team up. That one is still sealed in the. That's still sealed in the original mail sealer. That's pretty impressive. And it looks like Gwen Stacy's still alive. Time to pull him down. Reload. Oh, and I've knocked down our special guests. I never want to knock down the special guests. Spider-Man 110. 
of Spider-Man 290. Lizard cover there. That's a really great cover. I like that. that. Venom adds a lot to the cover. Anytime you see Venom on a cover, man, it just, it really pops. He makes that, he makes it pop. I did, when I was younger, buy a lot more Venom comics. I would pick up like his mini series. Now, of course, that was all part of collection uh, 1.0. But I've noticed in this uh, uh, Widow's collection that I purchased, there is a whole bunch of Venom mini series. So I'm real excited about that because it's just going to be, you know, nostalgia going back, reading through all those. And I'm trying to keep keep the pace moving on these books. That's a nice foil cover because there's so many to go through. I don't want this video to be like an hour. I just, I can't believe all the, all the Spider-Man comics. I got a couple boxes in the same, also from the Widow's collection. Um, I got, oh gosh, it's gotta be at least a long box, maybe a long box and a half of Superman comics too. And I have not read hardly any Superman comics. So I'm excited to see what that's all about. Peter Parker. I'd say out of all of these, I, I tend to enjoy these Peter Parker covers probably the most. That one's pretty rough. That one's got a lot of water damage. Uh, I think I've seen that one once before already in here. I remember because it has a Spider Woman on it, and I was a big fan of her. Ooh, Ultimate Spider Man. I have not read any. I, I tried reading Ultimate X Men, and I. I, like I said, I thought it was sacrilege. I stopped immediately. I'm in the store. I didn't even buy it. And I'm like, all right, fine, screw it. I was a big Cyclops fan, and if you make Cyclops suck, then I'm not into it. I, I always thought he was cool. I remember him from back in the Claremont days. He was a lot more interesting, a lot more likable. And see, these Ultimate covers just do not speak to me. That's a cooler cover, a much cooler cover. Pretty sure I got about 300 issues of Spider-Man here. Because I know it's it's a little over a long box. And this is just Spider-Man. Um, I've also got a bunch of Spider-Woman from her. I've got a bunch of Spider-Girl. i got a bunch of Spider-Man 2099. Um, man, these Ultimate covers are just... I don't like them. I, my buddy says that Ultimate Spider-Man was actually a good read. Um, I guess you can't judge a book by the cover. I just think the covers are lame. We're getting, we're getting stuffed up here, so I'm going to pull these down once more. Oh. I love Bronze Age covers so much better. And J. Jonah Jameson has got a shotgun. That's... That's awesome. Number two, number 118, all new, all daring. Oh, I'm knocking my special guests over again. Gosh. You wouldn't think that, that putting this many comics up one at a time would be like tiring, but it kind of is. Parker 13 that's this is like quite a bit newer stuff it kind of tells me about the time that the guy stopped collecting and or passed away and I don't I don't know if he collected up to the point that he passed away or if he stopped before then but I haven't seen a lot of you know ultra modern stuff in the collection this is that phase in the 90s I don't know. All, all the comics of this era looked really similar to me. They all had the same... Well, those are exactly the same. That's why they look similar. But um, You know what I mean. They all had the same kind of slightly more cartoonish animation. That's a good cover, though. I dig that. Spider-Man Unlimited. I don't remember Spider-Man Unlimited. 
but apparently this guy did because there's a looks like there's quite a bit in here it's just nuts the box just keeps going on like I said I just don't know where to begin where do you start if you haven't read spider-man before it, it always looks confusing and then you get this many comics and it's like man I, I love that I have them I just don't know where to begin don't know where to begin there's Morbius Spider-Man team up nice Venom Scarlet Spider cover looks like a Sandman issue and it looks like we're getting starting to sink here uh oh guns that's I kind of like that cover. I kind of, there's something about a gun. Yes, there is. They are fun to shoot. I recommend it. Um, in the safety of a gun range. Hey, I actually remember this cover. Um, I think I got it out of one of them three packs. I did read that, and I thought that guy was cool. Oh, that's a Spider Man 2099. I am going to sort that right now because I'm trying to find a whole. Probably somewhere in this collection, I've got a whole collection, or a whole series of Spider-Man 2099s. It's just a matter of, of finding them. They're just so hard to dig through all these boxes and find stuff. It's fun, I love it, but holy cow. Just goes on forever. To the point that I need to pull them down again. I'll try not to knock over our special guest action figures because they're probably tired of me knocking down. Spider-Man had some great Bronze Age covers. Oh, I really like that. I love Cloak and Dagger. I'm going to have to do a video on Cloak and Dagger. I have, I think I have pretty much, pretty much every series of theirs complete. Um, except for, I think I'm missing a few issues of the Mutant Misadventures of Cloak and Dagger. I don't think I have all of those, but I have a lot of them. Didn't run terribly long. Oh, looks like another appearance of Sabretooth. A few more issues of modern stuff, or, well, not modern. Um, we call this era. I mean, it's modern, but it's like late 90s, early 90s. Good stuff, just, they, I remember there was a lot of like arguing about what they were doing with the paper at the time, because they were going, they went from glossy paper that everybody liked, back to that like newspaper -y type paper and everybody hated it. And I really didn't care. I was good with it either way. Um, whatever kept the price of the book down was what was good with me. And as books, when I started collecting, were like 150 to $2. And when I got out of them, they were like 350. $2.99 an issue was pretty standard and I was just like ah I'm I'm phasing out I'm done with this so whatever they could do to keep the prices down I was happy with oh, another ultimate and yeah, I just don't feel the ultimates as much that's I'd like that that is a that's a beautiful cover not black with not uh, black cat that's terrible that's a beautiful cover. Oh, some of these older ones really got it going on with their covers. Uh, more Cloak and Dagger. God, I love Cloak and Dagger. Great stuff. And my last issue is Spectacular uh, Peter Parker, Spectacular 105. That That is over a long box of Spider-Man comics. And if you guys sat through all those, congratulations. Um, if there was any in there that you were like, oh my gosh, that's super valuable, you could let me know. I would I would take that information. Otherwise, it will be a long time before I get around to sorting through all these, reading through them, um, and really seeing kind of what I've got. Uh, I mean, I'll obviously see what I've got, but I've also got several other boxes, as in like 15 boxes, uh, that I need to go through and figure out. So um, it'll be a while. You see something? Give me a shout out and let me know what's what. what uh, let me know what's what with it. 
um, I'd appreciate that. And as always, thanks for watching. That's my story, and I'll catch you guys later.